it's good to see you. We are back in Dollar Tree, and we're going to look at some soap and whatever else we find. All right, well, we have, oh, look at the nail polish. Gosh, we have a lot of nail polish as well. Look at this. We have some Kiss Gel Color Vibe. They've done away with most of the L.A. colors. I think they don't, yeah, I think it's all gone. They just have these other, these other brands now. So, yeah, but anyway. Oh, look, here's the top to some nail polish. Let's leave that right there. So, do we have any new soaps today? Um, not really. We have the pink zest down here. What is this? I forgot. It is Indulgence Lush Orchid and Almond Oil for Hydrated and Healthy Skin. Now, most Dollar Trees don't do their soap this way. You know, they have the little wire bins. But I love this one because they still do it like this on the little shelves. It's kind of crowded in here. <laughs> A lot of people. So this, what is this? This is the Very Unfortunate Moisture Blast. Just trying to get it to where you can, oh, we have some Men Plus Care back there. See, here you just get individual bars of that. It's uneven. Okay. Let's bring some up. This is the, uh, this is the newer packaging. I guess they finally sold all the older stuff. Yeah. I don't know why I don't start up there. I just don't. It's two bars. That one's turned catty corner back there. I'm going to leave it like that. So, we have two kinds of dove over here. We have sensitive skin. You only get one bar of that. But it's a dollar twenty-five, and any more, that's, that's par for the course. Okay, this, let's see. They're both two point six ounces. I remember when they were three ounces, but they're only two point six these days. So we got our sensitive skin. It is fragrance-free, hypoallergenic. Didn't they used to have just regular old bars of ivory soap? I kind of feel like they did at some point, but they no longer do. See the ones in the back are turned sideways that way they don't fall down the little the little crack back there. We have Irish Spring Classic. We have Original Clean and Aloe Mist. Aloe Mist. Let's see. That's quite full. worked all day and I got off work and I felt like coming here to do this so that's what I did you know I do what I want <laughs> and this is what I felt like doing today this is pears this is the uh, I guess it's just the original pears it's kind of like that Neutrogena soap that's clear I don't know if it's scented or not we have some more pears so further down on another shelf. I'll just leave it like that. Actually, I'll do it this way. Okay. There, and then we leave space. We have some of the we have some of the lavender soap up here. This is Yardley soap. This is 4.25 ounces. 
It used to be 4.5, but it no longer is. And here's the Dove Men Plus Care Extra Fresh Soap. This is 2.6. That is also 2.6. Yeah. So, it smells nice. You can kind of actually sort of smell it through the box. It smells pretty good. Dove Men Plus Care. Now, they don't rotate. see the old stock in the very back. And when we see that, we bring it to the front. I'm not seeing that today, though. And I know it would be better if I went, like, right to left, but it just feels weird to do that, so I go left to right. Even though it makes it harder, because I end up knocking stuff over. <laughs> That's just the way I like to do it. Normally, you don't see the Yardley up here, but... I guess maybe they just felt like uh, moving it up a little bit. This is activated charcoal. No lazy charcoal here. It's activated. Shazam. Okay. Yardley. Yardley. Do-do-do. Do-do. I hear little jingle bells on the next aisle over. Little reindeer shopping over there. Should I put one up on top of this? What do you think? I mean, I, I could. <laughs> I reckon. Oh, no, don't knock it over. There. Does that look better? I don't know if it does. <laughs> okay. How about that? Does that look good? It's looking better already. Now we have two more types of Yardley soaps here. This is the one that I see the most. This is oatmeal and almond, which actually sounds kind of yummy, but <laughs> don't eat it. You know, I ate a bite out of a bar of soap when I was a kid. My mother always referred to it as a cake of soap. So I was sitting in the bathtub one day, apparently, I don't remember this, but I was sitting in the bathtub and my mom had left a bar of ivory soap sitting there and I took a bite out of it. She came back in and asked me why I did that and I said, well, you said it was a cake of soap. It tastes awful. <laughs> Hopefully that was the only time I ever did it. I'd feel really stupid if I did it again. Well, if it's a different flavor, I might have. Don't bite the soap, y'all. That's just stupid. And don't eat Tide Pods. That's also stupid. Okay. As my mama always said to me, act like you got some sense. There. So maybe if you don't, you can at least act like it. Okay. And we've got zest down here. This zest is soothing aloe. So if you're upset, you could wash with this. Now they've got it turned every which away in here. I don't know why. Yeah, if you're not feeling so good, I guess you could just wash with this and you would be soothed. These are bonus sizes, 28% more. That's exciting. See, what they did was they made it smaller for a while, and then they went back to the regular size, and they call it a bonus size. You're just getting what you used to get, but you've forgotten, because most people don't pay attention to the size of their bars of soap. They did the same thing with toilet paper. You know, they made it skinnier. People just look at the number of sheets, but they don't measure the width of the toilet paper. It got skinnier. It did. All kinds of little tricks they use to make more money. Sneaky suckers, yes they are. When I was a kid, my mom used to get the Consumer Reports magazine and I used to read it. I found it fascinating. All the things. 
things you can learn. Bonus size, that's funny. How big are they? 4.12 ounces. Yeah. They used to be 4.5, I believe. And now 4.12 is a bonus. What kind of weird math is that? I see bars of soap escaping back there. We've got Dove Sensitive Skin. Two of them. Come here, you little thing. Where are you trying to go? The indulgence and this is zest aqua refreshing aqua and here we have zest indulgence i love the box it's so pretty it's like barbie pink okay now you see how these look different this is the older stock this is the older box. These are the newer ones right here. We're putting those in the back. So don't fuss at me about my rotating stock because they're not doing it either. Okay. There. Wow, look at this. I love it. We have more pears. What's this? Oh my God, Crayola makes toothpaste. That's like a nightmare. Where did this come from? Ew, I don't know why that just grosses me out. It just does. Okay. We could organize the toothpaste. We haven't done that in a long time. Look at all the little toothbrushes. Look at all the fun things over here. It's so colorful. Okay. So we only have one flavor of pears today. We have the regular orange looking flavor. They had some blue and green, but today I think we just have this one. Okay. Let's turn sideways. Look at this. Caress 3.15. That's a little bit bigger than that. It's pretty late. Ooh. Let's see. What can we do? I'm trying to scoot it a little bit. It's scooted around funny. stacking these three high, but I guess we'll do it anyway. There! Oh, I love doing this. This makes me so happy. You know, I discovered when I was young that having a tidy room made me happy. It was just something, a little thing. You know, I could keep my room clean and it made me feel good. Living in a small, cramped, cluttered house just didn't suit me. Okay, we don't have much coast. We just have this little, little bit. This is a little bit more of the lavender yard leaf. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then we have these, we only have two flavors of the individual bars of Dial. Refresh and Renew. I love how the names of these soaps sound like you're going to the spa. <laughs> that would be cool. I wouldn't say no to it.
This is refresh and renew. Huh. Sugar soap works. Oh, that's noticeably lighter. Wow. These have definitely. Why do these feel so light? It says they're five ounces. They used to be 6.25. They feel even lighter than five to me. I'm not going to scoot those way up to the edge. I just don't think that's a good idea. This is lemon, I'm sorry, oatmeal and verbena. I bought some of this and it smells good when you take it out of the box, but when you use it, you really can't smell it at all. Like it's just, it has like, has no scent. This is complicated. Oh, look, we have a whole bunch of these. Look at this. We have a bunch of Dow Advanced Clean Act Antibacterial. Oh dear. How did they all get pushed back there? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, that uh, actually, give that a minute. That goes way up. I don't know how I got all the way down here. Okay. What did I do? I missed it. Lucky Wookie. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I just realized? I just realized something really significant. These are two bars. Why did this not occur to me until this just now? You used to get three bars. This is one of the old packs. Now you only get two. Are they the same size? They don't want to tell me what size they are. How about that? Well, blow me down. So this is the old stock. This is new that was just shoved in here. I'll be darn. Look at that. Bending over like this is killing my back, but I have to do something. Okay, here we have some coast. 
There's a kid running for his life from something in here. I don't know. You know, Pennywise could be in here. I wouldn't know it. He'd come just gobble me up. I'd hit him with a bar of soap. I'd grab one of these three packs and knock him out. Yeah, this is new stock. This is new stuff. So they're cutting down to two bars now. I just realized that. Shoot. You can tell I haven't done this in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let me think. I'll put at least a few of these three bar packs right here. Yeah, this is old stock. All this right here. That's the new stuff. So they're going from three to two. So if you like the palm olive at Dollar Tree, you better go get some. <laughs> they're cutting them down. Okay. This actually goes over here. It is a little special hand and body. Here we have a shampoo bar. These are different. There. I like that. But look. Look at it. We made it look so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's come over here and look at the liquid soap. This is milk and honey flavor from Soft Scent. Seven and a half ounces. Bath and Beauty Pear Scent. See, this starts out as a liquid, but it comes up through here and it becomes a foam. I like the little foaming hand soaps. Let's put a few on this side. Oops. We have Soothing Clean Aloe Vera Fresh Scent. That's also seven and a half ounces. Comes with a little pump, which is nice. Okay. And we have a long bottle of Every Man Jack. Just by itself, just hanging out, cruising the local scene I guess then we have our fish flavored soap these are seven and a half ounces I think they're Nemo flavored or something oh here's some more and we have fresh breeze flavor fresh breeze soothing clean milk and honey it's so relaxing. Then we have Bath and Beauty Fresh Scent. We don't know what it smells like. It just smells fresh. It could be fresh manure. We don't know. We just have to guess. I always like this one. I love the light blue of this. It's a uh, coconut water and mango from Dial. Nice. And then we have Himalayan salt from Dial, a light pink. Yeah, this is cool. I wonder what it smells like. Oh, it's citrus. Hydrating hand wash. Hand, period, in case you forgot what it was for. It's good to know. 
And then down here you have, oh, look at this, spa soap, 16 ounces, aloe and chamomile. You can get refills for this. Look at this, 32 ounces for $1.25. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's kind of watery, though, if you look at it. It's kind of a watery soap. But whatever. It's cheap. All these lids are slightly loose for some reason. <laughs> That's weird. We have Yes to Watermelon Daily Gel Cleanser down here. And Personal Care Green Tea Soothing Cleansing Milk. like a facial cleanser. So I don't know. I'm not really sure. We have Delta Home. Ooh, toasted coconut. Nice. And soap. That is 16 ounces. I'd rather have this than that. It's the same amount. Spiced pumpkin, warm vanilla, oh, rosemary mint. Nice. Okay, check it out. Oh, we have big containers of fish flavored soap. Look at that, 12 and a half ounces. Those are also a dollar twenty-five. I'd like that. That's cool. So, so there we have the liquid hand soaps and the bars of soap oh it looks lovely it looks so pretty let's come over here what about otc otc looks kind of horrible um i don't really know what to do over here i always feel traumatized by this section we have turmeric Probiotic Acidophilus. Got your knockoff fix Vapo Rub. Chest Rub. That's probably the exact same thing. How big is it? Four ounces. You know, they invented fix Vapo Rub in Greensboro, North Carolina. I always feel compelled to say that because I'm kind of proud of that. That's pretty cool. That's where I am. And we have our oxymetazoline. That's generic Afrin nasal spray. Don't use it too long. People kind of get hooked on it. it doesn't really, I don't think it's made to really go in this box. Okay. This is oxymetazoline also, 0.05. What is the difference? Up to 12 hours of relief. Smart to put it in these boxes, though. Eye drops. We have eye drops for days. You could, you could appear to be so emotional. Look at all these eye drops. Dropped. I dropped the eye drops. Oh dear. Eye drops. Eye drops. You drops. We all drops. We have hydration support. I see these are turned sideways, but we can kind of move these up a little bit. Mate, hydration support, electrolytes, Bondo. It's got electrolytes. We're going to lay them down, use them to support the one. There. Prop it up, just like my ex husband. More vitamins. We have our turmeric. And we have just energy in a bottle. It could be amphetamines, we don't know. 
What's this? Glucosamine, 500 milligrams, joint support. Oh, God, I need the Band-Aids, y'all. I need the Band-Aids. Don't make me do the Band-Aids. I'm not doing the Band-Aids. I hate the Band-Aids. They suck. Okay. Look at these cute little bottles of antacid. Oh, they're so adorable. I love them. Can't really do much there. Aspirin. Aspirin is beyond me. We have Bear back in body. We have a generic of that as well. What happened here? I don't know. Somebody got hungry or something. Bear back in body. You can also get small containers. You can get these little travel size things. I use these myself. I put my vitamins in here. I use these to sort my vitamins that I take. I have several little supplements that I take every day. I find it easier just once a week to stick them all in one of those. I love efficiency. Mainly because I'm lazy. I don't like doing a lot of extra stuff. We have ibuprofen here. Is this part of it? No, it's not. This is ready in case. This is too. These are soft gels though, so these are different. I'll just put these over here. These are soft gels. Little soft gels. Just kind of do that. And then we have tablets. Ibuprofen. It's generic Advil. Or Motrin. Motrin is the same. The same thing. Now down here we have tension headache relief. This is going to be like Excedrin tension headache. It's the same active ingredients. We have 500 milligrams of acetaminophen, which is the strength of extra strength Tylenol. Regular strength Tylenol is 325 milligrams. And it also has 65 milligrams of caffeine. symptom. Oh, no, this is something else. This is 12 caplets. We have acetaminophen here for your pain reliever, fever reducer, dextromethorphan, which is an, uh, a cough suppressant, guaifenesin, that is your expectorant, and phenylephrine, which is horrible. It's, it's supposed to be a nasal decongestant, but it, it sucks and doesn't really do anything. Get pseudoephedrine. It's a thousand million times better. That is not medical advice. I'm just a goober on the internet. Don't listen to me. There's more tension and headache back here. And it's turned all funny. Antidiarrheal, that's loperamide. That is generic uh, for Imodium AD. Two milligrams of loperamide per dose. Works like a charm. Don't use it too much, though, and make sure you drink plenty of water. It'll bung you up if you don't. Okay. So here we have this sinus congestion and pain. This is daytime, non-drowsy. It's, some, it's comparable to Tylenol's sinus severe. This contains acetaminophen, which is a pain reliever, fever reducer, guaifenesin, your expectorant, fetal ephrine, which is useless. It is indicated as a nasal decongestant, but it sucks. It's pseudoephedrine. Not medical advice. That's what all of this is. Does 12... 12 is like 6 doses. You'd have to take 2 of these per dose. Uh, oh, this only has 325 milligrams of acetaminophen, so it's like a regular Tylenol. So it has less acetaminophen in it. 200 milligrams of guaifenesin and 5 of phenylephrine. Huh. Let's see. Sinus congestion and pain. We have that, and then we have the 
cold, multi-symptom. We only have three of those. So this is only 325 milligrams of acetaminophen per caplet. So that is the strength of regular strength Tylenol. Look at this pretty box. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how shiny it is. It doesn't go here. Let me put it in purgatory. Oh, look at the little shark. It's a little, oh, it's a little neck pillow. That's adorable. That's so cute. That's cute. That's five dollars. Some stuff here is not just a dollar. Nighttime sleep aid is going to be diphenhydramine. That is the same active ingredient as Benadryl, just sold as an antihistamine. But it, one of the main side effects is that it makes people sleepy, so they sell it as a sleep aid as well. Oh, we have fiber. Natural psyllium husk. Delightful. We have sleep aid from Soothing Nature Garden. And we have cold and flu from Value Health, which is like Dick's Dayquil. Nice. We have Simethicone in a bottle. Is it 81 milli No, 80 milligrams. Simethicone gas relief. More loperamide. What is this? That's a box. Yeah, it's going to be 2 milligrams for your loperamide hydrochloride. Generic Imodium. I was not a nurse. I know all this because I worked in retail and hospital pharmacy and we had to learn a lot of generic drug names and I still remember them over 20 years later. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you what I had for lunch yesterday but I know the names of these things. <laughs> All right. Nice. Not a lot to organize but it looks a little better anyway. What about baby stuff? We have baby lotion. Is it made out of babies? Baby oil. Here we have breast pump and accessory cleaner. That's new from Dapple Baby. This is all baby lotion. This is liquid acetaminophen, 160 milligrams per five milliliters, usually based on the child's weight and or age. But again, this is not medical advice. I'm a goober on the internet. Do not listen to me. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not telling you what to give your kid. Oh, this is an all-purpose cream. It's very nice. Yeah. The Vaseline Jelly. Somebody just put these back. I don't know why. I'm not worried about I'm not crazy about stacking these things, especially not three high. We know this is not rotated stock, so don't come at me. I suddenly smell cigarettes for some reason. I literally do. Like, I smell cigarette smoke. Either somebody just came in from smoking or they're smoking in here. You, neither of those things would surprise me. It's Dollar Tree. Okay. Okay. We have, ooh, bath slime, cherry, cherry scent, bath. Oh, God, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have three types. We have pink, purple, and green, and we have bath, uh, foam soap. Oh, what fun. Look at these fun things. I don't have room to set these all out. Ew, that bugs me. I don't have room for the third one. I'm sorry. How cute. Look. Oh my god. It's bath slime. Ooh. Hello bath time, baby shampoo. Star Wars body wash. We have A and D cream over here too. That goes up here. Diaper rash paste. I'll just 
just leave it like that. Or should I bring it forward? There's not really a ton of room for it over here, but we'll do it. Okay. Ooh, this shelf is almost totally pointless. What are you going to put on this shelf? <laughs> uh, three cocoa butter petroleum jellies, apparently. Oh, no, four. There's another one back there. Why did they... Why did they do that? <laughs> they, maybe they're getting ready to redo all this. I don't know. We have playroom and high chair disinfecting spray. A bath bomb from Crayola. Cornstarch baby powder with vitamin E and aloe vera. Baby shampoo, gentle cleansing. Percara, Percara. I don't know. But we have powder, bubble bath back there. Elmo baby lotion. I hate Elmo. He's so annoying. Mr. Bubble and some demented magic bath crackles from Mr. Bubble. Mr. Bubble is going all Walter White on us. Look at him. Got bath crack. What in the world? I, I don't know. What will they think of next? <sighs> okay, two and one. These have yellow lids and these don't. I don't know why that is. Oh, wait a minute. The bath crackles go down here. Okay. Whatever. We have some more two-in-one back here. Shampoo and conditioner. It's lime flavor. We have en Encanto and Conto. Not sure which it is. Body wash. That looks like fun. <laughs> that was actually cute. I like that. I can only reach back there so far. I'm going to knock them all over. <laughs> we have frozen and baby oil. Look at all that baby love. Baby oil. Golly. their little diapers anymore, but they have diapers in the Dollar Days section at Dollar, uh, Dollar General. So there we have a little bit of baby stuff, a little bit of OTC over the counter, very little bit, but it looks nice. Oh, look at that. We didn't, we didn't organize any of that. There's the magic towels. Aren't they cute? Look at You put them in the water and they open up. You have all these to choose from. They're so fun. My kids love those. 
And then we have our liquid soaps. Our liquid soaps look good. And then finally we have the bar soaps. And they look beautiful. I love them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to make the soaps and everything look beautiful. And the baby stuff and the OTC stuff. It's always so much fun doing this. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.